Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this post slider over here using HTML and CSS. And we'll also use a library called Swiper.js for the functionality of this slider. So in this video, we'll just design this card and in the next video, I'll show you how to add the functionality. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, here I have created this folder called slider and I just opened it with VS Code. And I also have this folder called images over here and in that we have these images which we're going to use in our design. So let's start by creating the necessary files. Let's click on new file and uh, let's create a new file called index.html. And we'll also create a CSS file. Let's name it style.css. And let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab and in the href let's type style or CSS. And now let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class of card. Now in this division we need to have this thumbnail, then we need to have this heading and then we need to have this uh, summary of the post. So first of all let's create a division for the thumbnail. Let's give it a class of thumbnail and in that let's create an img tag and here for the src I'll just type images forward slash and here we have these images which are in this images folder. So let's select the first image and then we need to have the heading but before that let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. Now the next thing we need to do is create this heading. Now these headings are basically links. So here we can see at the bottom left we have the link of these uh, headings. So you can add any link you want over here. So for that let's go back to our HTML. And for the heading let's create an anchor tag. And in the link you can add the link of your post. I'll just type hash for now. And for the heading, let's also give it a class. So let's type class and let's give it a class of title container. And in that we will have an S3 for the heading. So let's type S3. And for the first heading, let's just type post one title. And then the next thing we need to have is the description. So let's create a division with the class of description. Now in the description, we need to have some text. So I'll just add some random text over here. So now if you go back we can see that we have the thumbnail, we have this heading and we also have this description. Now if you go back to the design here we can see we have other elements over here as well. We have these navigation dots and we also have these arrows. So if we click on these uh, buttons we can go to the next and the previous posts. But we will add them when we add the Swiper.js library. For now, let's just design this card right here. So let's go back to our HTML. And uh, here we can see we have linked our CSS file. So let's open the style or CSS file and let's start writing the CSS. The first thing we will do is style this card. Now I will include all of this inside a container division. Let's create a division with the class of swiper. And let's cut the ending tag from here and let's paste it over here. So now we have this card division inside this swiper division. And now we can go ahead and copy and paste this card division for the other posts. For now, let's just style this one card. So let's go back to our style.css file. And let's target the card. So let's tap swiper, card. Now the first thing we will do is add a width. So let's set the width to 300 pixels. And now we can see we have this width added for this text content. But we don't have the width added for this image. So let's go back and uh, let's target the thumbnail. So we have this division with the class of thumbnail. So let's type swiper thumbnail and uh, let's set the width to 100% of the parent. And we also need to add the width for the image tag. So let's type swiper thumbnail img and let's set the width to 100%. And now we can see we have the correct width for the image. Let's also set a fixed height. So here for the thumbnail, let's type height and let's set the height to let's try 180 pixels. And we'll set the height of the IMG tag to 100% of the parent. So now we can see we have the height set to 180 pixels. 
but now we can see that the image doesn't have the correct aspect ratio so here let's type object fit and let's set it to cover and now we can see it looks all right now here we can see we have set a width of 300 pixels for this card but when we add the swiper js library we don't need to add the width to this card we can simply specify how many cards should be displayed on a screen at a time so it will automatically calculate the width according to the container width but for now let's add the width over here for styling this right the next thing we will do is we will set the font family to roboto so let's target the swiper division and let's set the font family to roboto and sans serif and since this is the container division let's set the width of the container division to 700 pixels and we'll also set a height of let's try 300 pixels right now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring all this text to the center so here we can see all the text are center aligned so let's go back and for the swiper card let's type text align and let's set it to center right now we can see all the text is in the center now let's add a box shadow so let's type box shadow and let's set the values to 0 4 pixels 40 pixels negative 8 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 and now we can see we have this box shadow right now let's style this heading so if you go back to our html file here we can see we have this anchor tag with the class of title container so let's style that here let's type swiper card and let's type title container right now if we add a background color over here and if you go back to our design here we can see that the background color is not being displayed that's because the anchor tags are inline elements by default and we need to set it to display of inline block so let's type display of inline block and now we can see that the red color is being displayed now let's set the width of this title container to 100% so let's type width 100% of the parent right now we'll also add some padding so let's type padding and let's set the padding to 8 pixels and now we can see that the element is going outside this container division so for that we have to add a line of code which is box sizing and we have to set it to border box and now we can see it has the correct width and now let's decrease the margin of this heading so let's target the s3 inside the title container so let's type swiper card title container s3 and uh, let's set the margin to zero and now we need to add a margin top for this uh, anchor tag so let's type margin top and let's set it to 8 pixels and now let's remove this uh, background color from here and we also need to remove this uh, underline from here so for that you have to type text decoration and set it to none and now let's change the color of this heading so here for the s3 let's type color and let's set the color to 0077b6 and let's also change the font size of this heading so here for the s3 let's type font size and let's try 20 pixels and I think that looks all right right now let's style this description so let's go back and for the description we have this division with the class of description so let's go back and here let's type swiper card description and now for the description let's set the font size to 16 pixels and we'll also add some line height so here let's type line height and let's set the line height to 1.8 and let's also set the color of the text to dark gray so let's type 333 and we'll also add some padding so let's type padding and let's set it to 8 pixels and with that we have completed designing this card now in the next video we will add the functionality of this uh, slider so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.